So what have I learnt while making this programme and during my umpiring career? I do know that when we are confident, we do certain things. We make slow, calm body movements. We make eye contact. I think it's got to be a left footer, hasn't it? I mean, certainly Ronaldinho is putting it down very carefully as well, but... Uh... We move towards the potential conflict point. We use head tilts, smiles and understated facial gestures. We use open hands and understated hand movements. And, as long as it's controlled, don't be afraid to use feigned anger to get a message across. In other words, the idea is to use a combination of language skills and techniques to get the optimum effects. That's the second Dutch player to have quite a long conversation with the referee. Clivert did so as they came off for the end of the first half. They're a little bit unhappy, uh, never, never short of a word or two, the Dutch, on those subjects, Trevor. Well, I think generally they're just a, it's the frustration of that first 45 minutes. They, you know, they know the expectancy. Clivert to his right. Foul. Repcar. Uh oh, cards coming out. Number two, Repcar, pushed away angrily by Davids. He's been booked. Uh oh, finger pointing here. Referee right on the spot. And Davids won't leave it alone. In fact, the referee is pushing Repcar away. <laughs> There's a certain hand on chest there. The secret is to be more aware of body language in everyday life at work, at parties, or out with friends. With greater awareness will come greater understanding of the subtleties of body language. Just don't think that you're going to get served at a bar before me. Unless you're buying. Free!